Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back yet again to the finale, the conclusion, the uh, the crown jewel, I guess you will. Uh, I, depending on how this video ends, you'll be able to tell if this is a crown jewel or not. Um, to, <laughs> to a very f interesting series, Arizona was re always meant to be a long-term rebuild. Um, a few things stepped in the way of that. I'm not going to lie. Um, the second I was given the chance to get Austin Matthews, uh, yes, uh, you all should know that that was not a question. You know, bringing the hometown kid back, bringing the prodigal son back to where it all began to save his hometown team. I, Dude, I may as well be like a director with how well I'm writing this movie. But you know what? One championship isn't enough to save hockey in Scottsdale. All right, like that—that's happened before. <coughs> <coughs> Let me get a drink, jeez. That has happened before. Okay, teams—teams teams have won championships and moved before. It's happened. Okay, even two is kind of questionable. You put together a dynasty, a three-time Stanley Cup champion in the past four years. Not a single person can even remotely say that you don't deserve to play in Arizona. Now, with that in mind, that's what this is going to be. This is the difference between whether or not we stay in Arizona or the team gets moved. IRL, I would definitely put money that it's probably going to, I'd say, Houston. That's where I'm guessing. But Especially with everything that just came out about their, uh, their, uh, their arena. They owe taxes, I believe, is on it. They owe like a lot of money on it. Anyways, uh, let's get into some things, some just quick housekeeping things before I, we get into this last video here. Uh, I don't. I say last video. It's the last video of the series. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. Calm down. Um, yeah, I hope that at least one person was worried there. That'll make me feel a lot better about myself. You know, maybe you guys actually care what I do with my life. Oh man, if you did, that would make well. However many of you actually cared, uh, that would make like one of you or two of you makes two people in total anyway um so we are where i've been let's start with this um it's been finals week i know i said that it's a big deal here at college um it, you know and it's it's technically still going to be finals week next week as i have a couple more tests but the tests are are not the same i was doing giant projects that would require hours and hours of me staying up and, and doing them when i would rather be recording so that that's where i've been um, so, you know, the, with this in mind, right, so it is currently, uh, the 9th of December, okay, so let's keep in mind a few things. With that being said, it being the 9th of December, this video will be going up on the 10th, the morning of the 10th, um, I will post the Hall of Fame video over this weekend, hopefully, um, and then we'll, we will look at the results on probably Wednesday, and we'll have a new series that will be starting throughout this week, okay, um, I want to let you guys know right now. I am super excited for this series. I plan on making this a tradition for every time right here around Christmas. You know, when everyone's when everyone's getting their time off, you know, I, I want to be able to provide some holiday cheer for you all, right? I want to provide some holiday cheer. It'll be it'll be fun, I'm sure. Um, the other thing with that, okay, the other big thing that will affect this new series, as I said, it's December 9th. And with that, the new roster sharing update is, is out. Uh, and with that, there's literally hundreds of prospects I've never used before. Um, Owen Power is one that I'm excited to use. Matt v. Michkov, big fan of him, big fan, especially for where we're going next. He's one of my long-term targets, but we'll get back to that in a minute. Um, uh, Matt v. Michkov, Kent Johnson, honestly, all the Michigan boys. Um, and then yeah, even Luke Hughes, like I'm really excited. Uh, I think it's Logan Cooley. He's going to be a lot of fun out of the draft too. Like there's there's a lot to be looking at here, there really is, and I hope that you guys are super excited for that series. Not to mention we're gonna continue with the challenge series still. Um, I just really like those take, those take even longer to record than these episodes, so I haven't quite gotten around to making any of them yet. But hey, you know what? We we got things to do. We got th we're gonna get time because it's gonna be Christmas break and we're gonna be we're gonna be grinding, all right. Um, but with that grind, keep in mind that I currently stay in my apartment. Um, it has great internet because I need that for my college. Um, 
I will be going back home, though, for the holidays, as I'm sure most of you or most of your college siblings or maybe maybe your brother, that's a sibling. Ugh. Um, I don't know. My, my point is that most people around college age will probably be going back to their house for the holidays. At my house, I don't have very good internet. And when I say don't have very good internet, I mean I don't have internet. Uh, the only internet that I get is on my phone and through my hotspot on my phone. So with that in mind, um, you know, I'm going to do my best to keep, to keep the schedule, you know, as it should be, you know, um, we'll probably start going around noon rather than 10, um, every Monday through Friday. Um, yeah, but I, I don't like, if I don't get an upload up, I just want you to know, like, it's not because I haven't recorded it. It's likely because my internet is not allowing me to get it up yet. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way. Is there anything else I could think of? Not really. Uh, I think that just about covers it. So you know what? Let's get into our final lap. Our victory lap is what I'm hoping for with the Arizona Coyotes. First team that we're going to be looking at here that we're taking on is, oh my God, why is this so? Okay. Please, I'm holding the button. Thank you. Vancouver. All right, Volshenkov, Peterson, and Hackett, or Pedersen, sorry. Uh, not scared, I'm going to be honest with you. They're a formidable line, but our top line's better. Uh, the rest of their forwards don't look that great. Let's look at defense. Yeah, I mean, Hughes can do something. Like, he's he's going to be good. He's going to have an impact. But, like, I don't, I, again, I'm not really scared of the rest of these guys. This man I'm scared of. But then again, goalies are voodoo, so who, uh, who really knows? You know, who knows? Ah, man, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a close one, but hopefully we can be able to pull out the W. So that once again, we can save the Arizona Coyotes and save hockey in Scottsdale. That is the big thing, guys. All right, let's go ahead. Let's hop into game one. Hope you all are excited. I hope you're on the edge of your seat. I hope you're ready. And if you are, don't forget to do me a favor and go ahead and uh, you know like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff. Uh, it really helps me out. It's free. Um, and I, I love hearing from you guys. I really do. Uh, I try to respond to every single comment that I can or that I'm at least involved in. Um, when I say that, I mean sometimes you guys are having a conversation down there, and it's not really right for me to just cut you all off. So, Anyways, guys, first period. Keller and Hackett each scoring. We're out shooting them massively. Holy. Second period. 3-2. to two. Kotkaniemi and McTavish. Donato scoring as well. Okay, we're still massively out shooting them. Let's just let's just wrap the game up, boys. Just wrap it up. There we go. Strom with another one. I apologize, guys. I gotta I gotta keep getting drinks because my my throat is still not great. It's still uh I'm still very congested. So uh, <laughs> I, I my throat's sore is the best way to put it. Clifton gets it or brings him back within one. Oh, dude, this is a terrible goaltending performance from Swayman. Overtime, because you know why wouldn't it be? I just can we end it quickly, please. I just I want to see Austin Matthews win the faceoff. Uh, back to Chitrin, up to Prince. Prince walks in, bar down snipe. That's what I'm calling now. That's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna hope for. You know. Oh, that's really what I'm gonna hope for. But guys, I do want to tell you this next series is gonna be a lot of fun. It's uh, it's it's an up and coming team. It's actually my favorite team for those of you who don't know. We're going to be doing them, and I'm going to try to make it a tradition to be doing them around Christmas every year. as like a midpoint series, I guess. Like halfway through the, 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 the what's the word? I don't want to say life cycle, because like halfway through the life cycle is probably like Janu end of January, early February. But either way, Matthews here on the faceoff. Loses it. Oh, no. Hughes. Come on. Come on. Oh, jeez. Well, there goes my prediction. Uh, okay, ooh, good play there from Clark Patterson with it. Wraps it around to Volshenkov. Up to Patterson again, over to Merkley, over to Hughes. Slapper, saved by Swayman. Chitrin with the rebound, and it's up to Prince. Come on, do something for me, Prince, do something. Good move there, rips all oh, wide. That was going to be nasty, too. Okay, back to Chitrin. Across to Clark, over Bedard. Okay, I don't know what the plan was there, Bedard. Over to Matthews, rips, and it's wide again. Prince over to Matthews, terrible angle shot. Prince with it again, though. Looking 
Finds Clark. Back to Bedard. Oh, geez, come on. Keep that in. Keep it in. Good. It's into Bedard. Over to Matthews. Rips. Save Demko. Okay. Solid offensive pressure. I want to get the second line out there. Make sure that we can stay at this high tempo. Come on, boys. Come on. We just got to punch one through. Soap here on the faceoff. Loses it back to Merkley. It's across to Reese. I believe that's how you say that. Skates in. Oh, not good, but a good save. We'll take it. Hmm. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's back to Kakaniemi now. I have the hiccups. Jeez, this is this is awful. I'm trying to commentate while having the hiccups is awful. But a, what a save from Swayman. One timer, point blank, and he's able to cover it. I. Oh boy. <laughs> Jeez, I'm all over the place. I'm I'm a mess. All right, McTavish here though. It's back to Merkley. Blocked. At least partially. Hosang with it now. Finds Hughes. Save. Throws it out to Sizek. Head up. Looks for Kakaniemi. Finds Strom. Oh, Strom's hit, but not knocked to the ice, which is good to see. Get some toughness in you, kid. Come on now. Reese. Oh, flat-backed. What a, That was a huge hit by Soderstrom. Over to Sizek. Over to Kakaniemi. Finds him cross-ice. That was nice. Back to McTavish. Rips. Saved. McTavish tries again, but it's knocked to the corner. Clifton with it now. Up to Horvat. Bo Horvat skating in. Soderstrom defending. Hunt poked away by Sizek. Strom finds Hayton. Across to Soderstrom. Oh, delayed penalty here. Up to Kakaniemi, who's hit. Perfect. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted to see. Let's get that top line out there. Let's get this thing rolling. And let's get ourselves a W. Matthews here on the faceoff. Loses it. Alexiev. All right, Bedard. Quarterback is Bedard. Up to Matthews. Okay, I like it. I like it, Matthews. You're kind of, kind of slow, my guy. Rips it top corner, though. Matthews calls game. Beautiful. And I got to get I gotta get going because otherwise it's going to be a super long episode. It's already 12 minutes and we've only done one game. But come on. Come on, boys. It's beautiful. Oh, sorry, once again, I had to get a drink. Oh, man. It's just water. Don't worry, guys. It's just water. I know I'm in college, but it's just water. All right, let's go here. Second game. Let's see if we can get our... I uh, did not mean to play it. Did not... Did, you know, blah, 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 you know? You know that language SpongeBob speaks where, like, it just sounds like he's just, like, doing the sound? That's what I feel like I'm doing every time I see it, every time I say that say that I, every time uh words english is difficult every time that i ramble on about nothing as i currently am doing first period one nothing clayton keller let's go we're out shooting them beautiful keep it going second period still one nothing okay they caught up in shots we've got this power play can we can we capitalize we can't come on come on 14 13 12 mctavish let's go Oh, Horvat gets one right back. It's a good thing we got that. Come on. Come on, boys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cock and with the empty netter, and we're calling game. Let's go. Let's freaking go, boys. All right. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Going over here, we're going to play the third game here. We're up 2 nothing. First period, let's roll. We, that's not rolling. Hack it with two. That is not rolling for us. What is that angle? Jesus. Second period. 3-1, to one. Pedersen and Bedard score. Can we get anything? Get back? There we go. Soderstrom gets us back into the game. Now we got ourselves game. Come on. Come on, get one. Get a tying goal here. Oh, Reese, no, we need another one quickly. We need another one. Stat. Please. That's going to be the one that breaks the camel's back, isn't it? Yep, it looks like it. Oh, that is unfortunate. It's all right. It's whatever. <coughs> Jeez. It's okay. Five to two. We'll take it. It's whatever. Um, like I said, you know, you're not really in trouble until you lose on home ice. And we haven't done that. 
especially considering that we have home ice advantage. We have not lost on home ice, so let's see if we can take the third or the yeah the, the fourth game, third one for us, fourth game in total, first period here. Okay, Keller. Okay, second period. Ooh, Keller with a hat trick and Kakaniemi scoring one as well. This is it. This is it. Come on, boys. There we go. Hayton with another one. Just to make sure they really understand who's in charge here. And McTavish with one. Oh, we are lighting the lamp. Let's go. Let's go. Keep it going, boys. Set. Oh, Hayton, is that? Does he have a hat trick now? I got to check. Oh, my God. Kakaniemi with one. Hayton, one, two. No, Keller has a hat trick. Hate, hang on. Keller has a hat trick. Hayton has two. McTavish has one. And Kakaniemi has two. Is that right? Yeah. Dude, that is insane. Oh, that is insane. We will, we will happily, happily take that, though. Can we wrap it up on home ice here, boys? Just call game here. Clayton Keller playing absolutely out of his mind. Love to see it. Let's go. Come on, boys. First period. Four to nothing. Cloutier, Matthews, Soderstrom, and Matthews yet again. All scoring. All finding their names on the score sheet. Let's go. And who is this? Who is it? Cloutier, the rookie, looking like he pulled off the little cross goal. Real proud of him for that one. Second period. Five as McTavish gets one. And we're just going to quickly sim the four, or the third period here. Seven. Bedard and Prince each getting in on the action with Horvat getting one. But it does not matter because your Arizona Coyotes are moving on. Let's go, boys. We're going to simulate up to uh, up to where we find out who our next opponent is. Oh, boy, dude. This is it's going to be a long episode. I hope you all got, got some snacks, you know. Got, got your, your... I know it's starting to get cold outside. Maybe you got your, your PJs on, you know, your... Your thick socks, you know, maybe a bowl of popcorn. Playing against, playing against the hated Chicago Blackhawks. Absolutely hate them. I don't think there's a single person in the NHL. I don't think that even Blackhawks fans like them right now. Or for the rest of the season, if we're being perfectly honest. Clayton Keller leading the team in points, going off. Matthews and Bedard each playing well. Cock and Amy was seven. Soderstrom was seven. Strom was seven. McTavish was six. Hayton was six. Where's Prince down here with four? Oh boy, dude, you were. You're having a... Oh, he's up here with six. I'm an idiot. What am I saying? He's below him. Oh, my God. He's at three. Dude, you are letting everybody down. <coughs> now, that's one thing I cannot give him credit for. He was he is not a playoff performer. Uh, okay, what did I want to do? We want to take a look at the lines here for the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, unfortunately, I tried to record this once already, and my computer died. So we're going to see if this one will turn out the full way. Hagel, Doc, and Brinkett. It's first line not to be messed with. Kubelik, Schmaltz, and Fast. Second line not really to be messed with either. Third line is solid, but questionable. Like, Kadri, you could definitely improve. Vero and uh, Mele, Me Me they should be up, I think, as the other two wingers there. And then the fourth line, it's the fourth line. It doesn't matter. Sandheim with Jones, it's a top, or that's a solid pair, but the others are stretches to be kind. Uh, UPL is in goal. We should take this series, and it shouldn't be a question. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't think there's a single series that our team should not be favored in. We are that, like, we're just, we're built different, you know? And I should know, like, you know, we're the ones that built it. We should know. I shouldn't say I should know. That's that sounds bad. I'm sorry, guys. You guys help me a lot. You really do. First period. Ooh, we're just gonna gloss over that second period. Four to one. Come on, come on. Do something. Okay, Cloutier. Maybe we can get another one quickly here. Maybe. Hopefully. Power play. Oh, come on. There we. Okay. Now we have a game. Now we have a game. Can we get a tie one? Can we get a tie and goal? Can we get a tie? There we go, Keller. Can we grab a late win? Do we get it? We have the momentum. We have the momentum. Can we do it? Dude, what is it with game ones in overtime? Like, <laughs> what is it? Seriously, I just, I don't get it. But hey, you know what? I'm happy. At the end of the day, we're getting to go to the overtime, where there, whereas I thought we were going to get crushed there. 
cannot complain. Oh, and it's beautiful to see our entire, our, our screen is just yellow down there when it comes to the overalls, because, you know, we're better. I just realized it's really hard to see on the display. I don't know if it's hard for you guys to see or not, but it's really hard to see, like, on my laptop. But on the TV, it's pretty easy. Oh, boy. Come on, Bedard. I, I'm calling it now. I'm, I'm calling Connor Bedard game winner. That's what we're going with. Matthews here on the draw. Wins it back to Clark. It's up to Prince. Prince gets hit. Matthews is able to take it on. Tries to find somebody. It's picked off. Jones with it now. Skating. Sandheim through the neutral zone. Up to Doc. Doc back to Sandheim. Over to Drinkit. Finally enters the zone. Drinkit runs out of space. Doesn't matter though. Physical play here. The, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, Bedard, Bedard. Oh, they have a power play. Oh, God. Connor Bedard, why did you interfere, my guy? Oh boy, come on. We have a 95.5% kill rate on the power play. Or on the penalty kill. Let's go. We got this. Let's see if we can get a shorty. Clark rips it. Love it. Beautiful. Great setup. Sandheim pinned in his own zone. Can't even get out. We're too, too good. We're too good. Come on. Doc here. Play him. Play him. Good. Clotier. Skating with it. He's got some space if he wants it. He doesn't want it, though. He dumps it. Jones. Oh, that's not that's not good. Okay. Kubelik dumps it in. You got time? Love it. Absolutely love it. They, they can't even establish themselves in the zone. We're, we're, just, we're hounding them at the blue line, forcing them to dump it in as I say that. Oh, what a save there by Swayman. I don't know what that – whoa. He did the whoa right there. I don't know. I don't know what that was. He just he got into it, you know. Started shaking. He was so mad. All right, come on. We get this face off back. We can kill him a lot more in this penalty. Come on, Sorella. Good. Chitrin. Boom. All the way down. Love to see it. And yes, I'm aware that I say that way too much. I am. Oh, come on, Schmaltz. Hagel, oh, what a move there Hagel was trying. He That was ballsy. Chitrin. Oh, okay. To bring it. Over to Addison. Over to Hagel. Or Hagel. I think it's Hagel. Good save there from Swayman. Just covers it up. That, that's, a, that's a real veteran play right there. Being able to just decide, you know what? My team needs a break. I'm going to let them get that break. And I'm really happy with it. So let's see here. Hayton on the faceoff yet again. Loses Addison across to Hagel. Or Hagel. Jesus Christ, now I've confused myself. Addison. Oh, don't. Okay, good save. Good, good clear. <coughs> it's up to Schmaltz. Over to Hagel. Hit him. Good. Sizek. Oh, my God, you just ripped it into him. That was a terrible plan. Clotier. Beautiful. Beautiful. 17 seconds left on this power play. I think we can officially say we've done a great job of killing it. Come on, come on. Step in on. Oh, picked off there by Clark. Beautiful. Keep a hold of it. If you can, you can't. That's okay. Okay, we're, we got, we're back to full strength now. If we can just get, get going into the zone. Oh, he was looking for the one T. That would have been nice to bring it. Oof. Haggle. Don't. Don't do it. Don't. Eakin. What, pff, why, why did I say Eakin? I know that's not Eakin. Schmaltz. Oh, Schmaltz. And I pronounce, I say the wrong guy's name, and then he rips it past us. That hurts even worse, though, to be able, like to be getting that close to it, to be able to tie it up and bring it to overtime, and then you just all ripped away, just like that. Oh, that hurts. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. We still got this. We have a deep playoff run ahead of us still. We're okay. Somebody's definitely looking at the time of the video going, no, you don't. But you know what I tell them? Don't be a negative Nancy. First period here. Three to one. Prince, Keller, and Prince again. Let's go. Second period. 
for Cloutier getting one as well. Let's go. Let's go. This team. Come on. This is our time. It's our turn. I say our turn. It's been our turn. Come on now. 30. And we're done. Let's go. Four to one. We tie up the series. Okay, we gotta get a win at their ice though. If we wanna if we wanna be able to to win this series, we're gonna have to take a win from their arena. Let's go. This could be it right here. Clayton Keller still playing absolutely out of his mind. First period, one nothing Kakaniemi at a kid. Second period, one to one to bring it. Oh come on! I don't like these low scoring ones. Come on, power play. We need something, please. Please do such a long power play and we get nothing. Oh my god. Kill it. Kill it. Oh my god, kill it. Kill it. Good. That's some momentum. We could take that. Let's go! Bobby Prince! Let's go! Oh, and Vero. Oh, all of the wind out of my sails after that. That, that hurts. That hurts immensely. Uh, I think I'm going to go cry myself to sleep. I would say tonight, but it's currently morning. Um, so I will probably be crying myself to sleep in a few minutes as soon as we're eliminated. And, you know, the video starts uploading. Oh, geez. I just, can we please just win? Make it quick, too, please. Please, Arizona, please. Just win. Just win. That's all I'm asking. Just win. All right, come on now. I do want to see the game at some like I I do want to see the game tonight. Please, I would like to do this before dawn. Thank you. Didn't think I was on dial-up. I hope there's someone watching that is too young to know what dial-up is. And if that is you, please leave a comment down below and say I'm the kid. That's all I need to. That's all I need to hear. But Dard here with it. Over to Chitrin. Looking. Can't really get away from anywhere. Their four check gets us. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Swayman. Oh, my. I, I'm praying to the church of Swayman. Holy cow. That man. That man is, is a god. Matthew's here. It's back to Chitrin. Let's go. Clark up to Prince. Arizona's in transition. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Oh, oh come on. I'm sorry, I wasn't commenting there or commentating there. Sandheim stolen by Prince. Ooh, we got a chance here. Come on. Prince gets body, but he he keeps the puck. Ooh, and a is that five hole? What a play from Prince to be able to get through the to get through the contact and slide it over to Matthews, who just says, you know what? Open them wickets up. And rip it. Oh, you know that you know that was one of those clean sounding ones too. You know it was, dude. Oh my god. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So so happy. We're at thirty minutes. Wow. Okay, two to one. Two to one we're up. We got this. Just gotta keep on rolling. Keep on keeping on. Let's go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. First period. 1 1. Okay. Okay. Second period. 2 to 1. Mm, no, not loving that. Not loving that. Come on. Can we bring it back? Can we bring it back? Power play? Power play? Something? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That power play is more disappointing than my Christmas when I was a child. That's a joke, Mom and Dad. I enjoyed Christmas. It, w it was just a joke, please. <laughs> yeah, dude. We're. Yeah. This this is over. Three to one, they're able to tie up the series. It's okay though. Remember, as long as you win your home games, you're okay. You know what? We we each swapped a home game. So let's see if we can get this W at home once again to take a commanding lead. First period. Two nothing. Mm. Come on. Second period. Two to one. Okay, Clark. Come on. Come on, tie it up. Tie it up, boys. This is our time. Come on. 
my God, what did he do? Commit? Did he murder the man? Did he commit a felony on ice? Come on, dude. Come on. Don't go out with this. Don't go out like this. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> and with that, our backs are against the wall officially. Nothing left to say, boys. Just play. First period. Two to one. McTavish and Matthews each scoring. Okay. Second period. Three to two. Okay. Clark and Debrinket each scoring. We got this still. We got this. We just got to stay on top of our game. Come on, boys. Come on. They tie it up. Oh, they tie it up. Come on. Come on, get us something, please. Matthews, Prince. I have not seen you, Prince, at all. And with that. And with that. We are eliminated. I don't even know what to say. Like this team just let me down so hardcore. What what did Prince even do? I know he didn't do anything. Nine points. We're paying you eleven million dollars a year for nine points in eleven games. There's nothing more that needs to be said. He just choked. We'll go on. We'll see who wins the Stanley Cup. But unfortunately, that's how this series is going to have to end. It's very, very unfortunate. And you know what? Like, I, I don't want to. I don't want to sound too negative here. You know, we gotta, we gotta focus on the positives. Like in reality, we definitely saved. We definitely saved Scottsdale. Okay. You think about it. What team with a top three player in the league okay that has two stanley cups in the past five years that has all of these players not to mention their own draft picks and prospects is going to be leaving okay that's just not going to happen and so with this final thing all i want to say is i would like to thank each and every one of you guys for helping me save hockey in scottsdale i thank you the state of Arizona thanks you. Well, maybe they don't because, you know, they're still trying to collect their taxes. But anyway, anyway that's, that's a fine detail we don't got to get into. Like I said, you know, this, this was a great group of players, and I would run it back with the same group. Two Stanley Cups in the past four years, I was wrong, not five years. Individually, Austin Matthews has won three Art Rosses and three Hart Memorials. Connor McDavid getting both of those this year. The Norris going to Bouchard. McKinnon with the Lady Bing. Matthews winning that a couple years ago. Uh, the Calder. Matthews winning the Conn Smythe for two of our or for our two championships. Swayman winning the Vesna and the William M. Jennings. Um, let's see here. Yeah, that seems to be it. So for our winners anyway. The Tundras, Dingle, McDavid, and McDavid yet again. So, <laughs> yeah, um, that that's unfortunately how it comes to an end. Like I said, guys, thank you so much. I mean that. Thank you so much for being with me every step of the way here. Thank you for enjoying everything that we had to do to save to save hockey in Scottsdale. And to the next GM, I wish you I wish you luck. But unfortunately, that next GM is not me. So. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to see the next franchise we take over. And I will see you all in the next one uh, where we will discuss the Hall of Fame debates. So I will see you all then. Talk to you guys later. Bye.